Florida Shop Vlog, take one. This is actually the third take. Don't tell anybody. Hey, one, two, three. Wait, where's my thing? Either it's still in here or it's in there. Office. I think it's in here though. Oh man, it's coming apart. We need Phil to fix this. Take one. Where's Phil? I don't have a Phil. There is no Phil. He's literally in the restroom right now, I think, so I shouldn't have said that. That's probably not a good thing to say. <laughs> okay, let's start the whole thing over. All right, we got to get Phil to fix this. Anyway, I'm going to carry it over there. All right, Florida shop. We are going to do a little update for you guys today on what we are working on, an event or two coming up, some of the things we're excited about. I'm gonna kind of roll through this decently quickly, but I wanna give you guys uh, a synopsis of what's happening because there's a couple exciting projects going on down here that I wanna highlight. So, first and foremost, I wanted to kind of chat a little tiny bit about the, some of the new aero on the new Zona Rotor Turbos, or on Zona Rotor Turbos, because we have, a, you'll hear me in this vlog talk a little bit about that. We have Kevin's GTR, we have my R8, we have, Jan's car, we have Ken's R8, Ken's Evo. So there's a lot of these cars getting what I'll call the updated aero. Some of the new stuff coming out of um, the Zona Rotor Turbo Camp is absolutely just awesome. And so we're staying right on the cutting edge of that and giving them back data so they can continue to modify and update and, and, and just basically just give them data. I'm super, super excited about that. So my car is getting the new 72 millimeter aero um, it had the 72 millimeter turbos on it that we've already highlighted on the YouTube channel that we updated to from the Precisions and now is getting the newest aerodynamics, aerodynamics. I don't think that's actually how you say it when you're talking about a compressor wheel. Aero, compressor aero, sure. Compressor aero from them and we'll be doing a lot of testing with that which I'm super excited about. So we'll talk about that uh, a little bit as we go through and as you hear about some of the projects we're working on. All right. So. Uh, we have Streetcar Takeover coming up. That's, that is probably the event, that's the crunch that we got going on right now. There's always a crunch in this business. Um, for Streetcar Takeover, we have a couple of vehicles to highlight. Number one, I just said we're, my car is getting the new turbos, new, the new Arrow on the 72, same exact size, just a more efficient Arrow. We'll let you know how that goes in another video, let you know how much better they are, hopefully do some overlay graphs, so on and so forth, or just speeds, times. Same exact thing is happening to Kevin's GTR. Kevin's GTR is getting the new 68 millimeter arrow. Um, there's word around on the streets that it's a hundred ish horsepower per turbo increase with the same exact size uh, inducer. I'm really excited. I hope he gets a PB. I hope that thing goes goes even deeper into the sevens. Uh, I'm very excited about that, that uh, those turbos going back onto that car and seeing that thing at streetcar takeover, which is only about three weeks away. All right, and then we have Kevin's STO, which you already know all about. Nothing has changed about the STO. That is going to be there again. We've been dialing that car in with the 76, 75s on it and the new billet block. Um, and some of the suspension parts we put on it, uh, to be quite frank, just trying to make sure that it goes straight down the, down the racetrack. This is the first time it's going to be out that I am very confident in the fact that it's going to go straight and everything is gonna happen exactly like it's supposed to happen and we're gonna get him into the sevens because that needed to happen a couple of months ago. But that's gonna happen at a streetcar takeover. That is the goal. All right, then we've got Ken's Evo, Ken's R8. Huracan Evo and Ken's R8, and we also have Tony's R8. So Tony's R8 has been under the knife. Uh, I don't know if he wants everybody to know this, but I don't care. So, <laughs> so that car is getting a billet block as well. That is getting a Noonan billet block, which we'll do some panning shots of. It has actually just arrived here. Um, and it will also be getting the new Zona Rotor turbos that my car has, and, well, is getting. So the updated Aero 72. Previously, he had a, a precision kit as well. And after the performance of my car, he's getting you know, the same kit that I am getting. You get it, the new Aero of that 72 millimeter. So I'm super stoked about that. We're gonna have that car out at Streetcar Takeover as well. So let's go over and look at Ken's build. 
So Ken's Evo, this is probably one of the biggest, most intricate cars we've ever built. It is a full billet block, everything you can throw at the transmission. I mean, you name it, you know? So, you know, Noonan parts, Dodson parts, you, I mean, you name it, the T1 fuel system, uh, just all of it. There's no reason to go deep into it. It's basically everything you can throw at one of these cars and still keep it a street car. It's getting seats, it's getting roll bar harnesses. I mean, you, you name it, it's, a, it's, a, it's an all out build. It is also getting our turbo kit. This is built by ETS, Extreme Turbo Systems, with the new Zana Rotor 80 millimeter turbos. This is the biggest turbo kit we've ever put on any car, not just a, uh, a V10. We never got into the huge forward facing turbo kit and the GTR stuff. It was just not something that we did. So our GTR stuff stopped at the 76 millimeter stuff that would fit in the factory locations. We've never done a forward facing big, crazy um, GTR build. So this car is getting the nastiest turbos we've ever put on a car in 15 years, which is kind of cool. I'm very excited about it. It should be the highest horsepower car we've ever built. Uh, ever. So we'll take a little look at it. Phil's over here working on it. Can you um find them? Because sure. if I lose this, then I can't go like this. Fair enough. Gotta have that. Well, I mean, what are we gonna do with that? <laughs> Thanks, Phil. You got you. <laughs> anyway, we're interrupting Philip, and he's got uh, he's got a little bit of a time crunch to do. So. It may not look far along, but it really is. Um, the way that Phil likes to work is he does a lot of the detail work first. Pretty the pretty parts last. So anything that's flashy, he does last. He wants everything to be, all the details to be in line, all the wiring to be done. He does not want the frills and thrills to happen first. He wants them to happen at the very, very end. That's how he's worked ever since I've known him. And I actually kind of really like it. So fire suppression, all the wiring, all the additional sensors, uh, you know, all of that stuff, axles, all that stuff is in, done. Motex stuff is, Motex aren't in, but they're done, right? Oh, they're in, Motex are in. Two harnesses left, fuel system is in and done. Chute, uh, cable, and everything is run. All it needs to be done is mounted. So uh, a lot of work has gone into this. Um, about six weeks we've been working on this car steady, something like that, somewhere in the neighborhood. So we're stoked about it. It's obviously getting a uh, uh, tire and wheel set up for both roll and drag. I believe it's getting 17s for the drag and 18s for the roll or something uh, in that. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. And then he's actually also about 19s for the street because Ken. Um, anyway, this is a big boy. We're excited about it. Streetcar takeover in two and a half weeks ish. Uh, it's going to be out there running. I'm hoping that it does very well right off the trailer. That's uh, that's the goal. Always the goal, right? In these cars. Uh, same thing with Tony's car. And then my car just needs uh, just the uh, back bumper and stuff put back on it, and she's ready to roll. Who else is going? Like I said, I, um, Kevin is going both his two cars. Ben Forney, I believe, is that he, he is going as well. He's trying to shoot for his first seven second pass on his GTR. Should be fun. Jan's car, I'm not sure if we're taking that out or if we're not taking that out. We haven't 100% decided yet. Just kind of depends on what goes on last minute. So um, the streetcar takeover night meet is here at Sissio Performance Clearwater. So please make sure and stop by for that. I believe that's the Thursday before. I don't have my phone, so I don't know the exact dates, but you guys can look it up on uh, streetcartakeover.com. So we are the title sponsor for that event. So please come out and support us, shake our hands, say hey, um, check out the shop, so on and so forth. So that is what's going on here. That's what's coming up for the events. Don't let the uh, events completely overshadow everything else though, because if you've got a car, you're in the area, you want uh, something as small as an exhaust or it to be lowered all the way to a 3000 horsepower build, please call us. Jan, Parker, all the guys here, give a call to them. We'd love to get you in. We'd love to work on your stuff. It doesn't matter if you want an oil change or you want something crazy. Um, please give us a call uh, at uh, whatever the phone number is here. And I don't have memorized. So, <laughs> all right, I think that's it. Is there anything else here that I should go over? Um, I don't believe there's anything else here to talk about when it comes to the vent or, oh, hopefully that, 
I think I've got this, oh, this microphone. That's what we should be going over. This thing, because I'm in Florida, I'm not in Georgia, and I don't have my pastor's microphone, you know, that goes up, you know, you guys know the pastor's microphone thing. And then like, I hate it being in my shirt. You guys know this, we talked about this already. And then they were talking, telling me that a lot of the YouTubers put it on here, but I'm not a YouTuber. And then I always worry about it not recording. No, oh, it's still got a red light on it. So I just put it on my hat. Does it look stupid? Let me know in the comments how stupid this looks. All right, appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe, like, comment. Uh, we're really trying to grow the YouTube audience and bring you guys more interesting content. Even though this wasn't super interesting, uh, when we go to the races, it will be. We'll try to get better at it. So thanks, y'all. See you later.